Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a stream tour of the Smooths area. So if you think you're going to enjoy this content, do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You guys have showed me so much love on the other project that I've done that I had to give you guys a stream room tour. Today, this is my gorilla position right here. This is where I entertain all the millions of the small fans. Right here behind this door, I'm going to show you guys the magic and how it happens. If you're ready for it, just give me the countdown. Okay, so the way that I imagined doing this whole entire setup has been changed because as you can see, my camera in OBS is not working for some reason. And I hate to restart the whole entire computer to pretty much do all the editing that I'm doing because every time I record, I'm editing at the same time. So that's not working. I just want to get that in the video. So everything from this point on is going to be done on my iPhone as planned. So here we go with the desk setup itself. We have my Elgato cam right here the hd not the 4k but the hd version we have the agato key light right here and we have an amazon bought iphone stand right here that wireless you charge my iphone uh apple watch right here and also my airpods my airpods case is right here in this etsy case that i got um if i take it out the case it'll charge but unfortunately when i put it on there it does not charge in this case for some reason. So I guess whatever wireless mount charger they use for this is not strong enough. So, uh, but this right here, I want to get to this so I can turn around and do this. This is the Last of Us Part 2 uh, Special Collector's Edition that I got from Target a couple of years back. Uh, I can't find it on the website to show you guys, but Target does sell collectibles. So, if you're in the game section, you always might want to always look out for that. This is my iPad Pro 11 inch right here running Dokkan in the background. I have uh, a collection of Pokemon stickers that I do have. I just don't know where they're at, but I use Pikachu right here because I mounted a charging USB area right here. As you can see, my iPad is charging right here. This does not come with this sit stand disc, but it comes with my surge protector that I got. And it's very, very useful. Um, like I said, my Pokemon, my iPhone charges over there. My iPad charges with this. And also, my headphones charge with this as well. We're going to get to that. Um, this is my sit-stand desk that I got from Uplift. That they're based out of Austin, Texas. And it cost me $731. By the way, the price tag that you guys see in the thumbnail is not a joke whatsoever. It's not clickbait. So anything is everything you're going to see in this video costs up to that much. And I'm going to go over it all. So my setup is this Dell monitor that I got from Amazon some years back. This is an LG monitor right here. And this is also the exact same LG monitor. This one I spent $580 on. This one I just caught on sale. It's the same thing, same monitor, but it's on discount. So now this was $299. Um, as you can see... It goes a Charmander figurine that I got from Best Buy. Uh, just some hand sanitizer. Got to keep your hands clean. This is a Charizard Amiibo that I got from a friend of mine. Uh, I think for 40 bucks. This is my Stream Deck XL. These just random Pokemon cards that I have a Charmander right here. Speaking of Charmander, here's this little guy right here. Got him from Target for about $12.99. Um, High Ground. High Ground did a collab with Pokemon not too long ago. This is my high ground mat that I've gotten along with the keyboard itself. High ground also did this nice Charizard Pokemon collab. And I think, um, I don't think, it, there's a number on here. There it is. Number 237. This is the 237th keyboard that high ground made. 
Um, this Charizard mat, well, it's it's basically a custom keyboard mat that I got from an Instagram um, store online. I'll just show the screenshot of this particular person that did this. This took a long time to get here. It came from overseas, but I love it. It's deep. I don't know if you guys can see how deep my finger goes, but it's deep. It goes in there. It feels so comfortable. I literally rest my hands on here and type. Still trying, still trying to memorize this without the lights being on here. Um, as you move over here to the PC, when I originally got this PC, it was about six, fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars. This has not been included into the price uh, of the thing. So if I did put it in there, it will probably be thirteen thousand that I spent in this room alone. So I'll just keep that in mind. And a lot of the stuff is not even tax included. So I'll keep that in mind as well. So this is probably somewhere between thirteen to about almost 15000 in this room. But I've rebuilt this computer twice already. And the final price is, um, I, don't, I don't know the final price of it. But that is a new CPU fan right there. That's a new motherboard. That's new um, DDR5 RAM inside. This is a new... 4070, um, 4070 video card that I just got not too long ago. That's uploaded on Twitter. You guys can search through my tweets and see that. Here's my uh, Switch OLED that I've been streaming Pokemon Legends on. If you, you know, new to the channel, still subscribe because I do stream this every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Here's my um, Elgato uh, Capture Card HD 60X for when it does work. Because for whatever reason, it doesn't want to work. Here is the Steel Series Arctic 7 headphones. I think these are the Novas. Yeah, these are the uh, Nova 7 wireless headphones. I have them plugged in right now because the wireless part isn't working for some reason. I just figure it's easier just to plug it in. But that is the Steel Series headphones right here. Here is my Wave 1 microphone. I still don't know what happened. We right here. I still don't know what happened to this, but the uh, this is the Wave One mic with the shock mount and the Wave arm as well. Speaking of arm, I just got this arm from Elgato. Shout out to Kiwi for giving me the link. But this is a Wave arm that you can do anything. It's a multi mount arm. You can do whatever you want to do. I just have mine hooked up to this key light because it's already there for my camera for a better view. And I believe that's it on everything showing here. Now, uplift, like I said, this goes up and down. This goes down and goes back up. Um, I stand for most of the time. And speaking of stand, there is my stand um, mat right here, along with my stream deck pedal that I just got uh, on sale for $69.99. Here is my LG 502 Hero Mouse. And I believe that's it on this side. Uh, shout out to Suicune. Chilling there. Pokemon Crystal Vibes. And I think now we're going to move over to the next section over here. All right. So here is a Greninja Amiibo that I also bought from a friend. I think that cost me somewhere between about 30 and 40 bucks right there. Uh, let's get into my controller wall here because there's a lot. Here is my custom Xbox One controller. As you can see, smooth right there. Triple O's. It's three O's, not two. Custom. I did that because for some reason, the black and gold slash yellow colorway is my um, <laughs> content colors. Uh, you see I have a black PS5 controller that I bought. Uh, here is a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Here is the Xbox One controller that I did have at one point with the nice grippy backs. But since I, I went ahead and bought the custom one, I didn't see a need to use this anymore. Here is a Pikachu GameCube controller for Smash. And another Pikachu controller for the Switch. Um, here is a Backbone uh, PlayStation 5 controller for my iPhone that I can no longer use because of the USB Type-C change that they did. But they did release an update to where you can plug this in to an iPad or anything else and use that as a controller. That's a pretty nice addition that they did. 
this Logitech keyboard uh, is wireless. You can hook it up whenever you get ready just to use it. This is an iFixit fix it toolkit, as you can see Charizard hanging out in the back right there. But I have this to, um, obviously I'm an IT professional for, um, for my day job and I needed that for this. Uh, also, so here, right here, right here, right here. Let's stop right here. This is from one of my great friends. Um, Ash said hi. You can find her on Twitch, YouTube, anywhere. You can search Ash said hi, anywhere. And this is the artwork that she's done for me. I have a story with basically these two. As you can see, um, she also got the three O's in there. This one of my, one of my name was Smooth Operator, but I had to change it three times. Really two, but three times because people kept saying operata for whatever reason. And also, um, people kept forgetting the extra O. So I had to change the triple O smooth so people could actually know that it's three O's, not two. This was a channel point. Actually, both of these are channel point redemptions right here. Both of these are channel point redemptions that I did from her channel. Uh, just, <laughs> just collecting all the channel points that you can get. But yeah, this is from my good friend Ash. Uh, shout out to her as usual, per usual. Uh, she did this one on the fly, like streaming live. She did this one on the fly. And I think she did this one off stream and colored it and sent it to me. I cannot tell you like how I download these, but she sent them to me. I just printed them out. Got that one framed. This one was framed, but I had to take this other frame to put this one up. So it's still there. I love it. Thank you, Ash, if you're watching this video. Awesome. Now let's move down to my little cubicle area. First, we have the air purifier. Allergies are crazy right now, so you need an air purifier. Here is my Nintendo Switch charging station. So this is my colorful Nintendo Pro Nintendo Switch Pro controller that lights up. It lights up with these normal colors um, pretty much. But when it starts to die, it turns red. And then when it charges up, it, it blinks red off and on. In the USB slot, you just put this little connector right here. And then it kind of just slides on there like so. And it just charges. As you can see, it's charging now. It shouldn't be that much, but the indicator tell you that it's charging. This is my Etsy purchase custom Charmander light that I am still mad about. And I couldn't contact the um the person who made this for me because they forgot the extra O. I put three O's in there, but they assumed that it was a typo. So that's a whole different story. But I try not to get too mad at it, but yeah, that's the problem. Um, this is just the AT&T um, fiber router right here. Then we just get down low. You see I have a uh, laptop mount right there. Uh, if I want to use it on my lap, I'll just prop up the laptop. Here is the map. I know you guys probably don't remember this one, but here is a map to um, only people who play this game are going to remember this. But this is a map to Red Dead Redemption 2. Like the game is that big that you had to have a full on map to pretty much play the game so you can know what everything what is in the game. That's pretty insane. Uh, here is my Logitech keyboard that I had to to get out of the way, to make room for my Charmander, not Charmander, my Charizard high ground keyboard. Hate that sound, so that's why I was happy to go ahead and get rid of it. Here's a little Yami Yugi section with Obelisk the Tormentor right here. I bought this just because they just gave this card out for free in the pack that they were selling. Here's a My Hero Academia section right here. My daughter kind of pretty much um, broke up Bakugo, so that's why he's looking like that right now. You guys remember this baller episode that this pop is from. There's another Deku pop back there. And I think that's it for this section right here. All right, so before we start hitting up this wall, this area, the PS5 area and this wall, I want to bring attention to my lights right here because these aren't regular lights like you assume that they are. Yeah, as you can see, they can change colors and do whatever I need them to do. I just can't show them while I'm recording because I, the app is on my phone. 
and I'm recording with my phone, so you can't do two things at once. But this is just a proof that it can go from white to uh, this purplish color. Turn down the exposure. You guys can see that it's uh, two different purples right there. Boom, as you guys can see. All right, now, so we're going to do from the floor to the top. As you can see, this four-star Dragon Ball came from Hypeland. Uh, I got this on sale, actually, so I didn't pay the 90 bucks. I think it was like $45 or $50 to get this. Uh, at Target, you can pick up this little guy. As you haven't noticed already, my favorite Pokemon is Charmander slash Charizard. So, of course, I had to pick this up. I got this Pokeball plush at Walmart randomly, just in a bin. But I got this from Target, that from Target. This was a Pokemon card uh, thing all together. But I just cut this side out because, um, yeah, I just I just cut that out. Um, I have not played uh, the Alolan region of Pokemon. One day I will. The whole thing about not having any gems kind of turned me away from it. But I heard it was still good. So Alolan should be a game right I should do in the future. These are my first headphones. The um, Audio Technica joints. I had those for a long time and finally, you know, went ahead and got rid of those. Uh, of course, another Pokemon notebook. In these boxes, there are Pokemon cards. Shiny Fates, Dark to Blaze, Evolutions, Vin Vivid Voltage, Champion's Path. There are Pokemon cards all in those boxes. This is a Pokemon Go 10 that I got not too long ago. This is also a Pokemon lunchbox, but it is also <laughs> filled with Pokemon cards. So, nothing but Pokemon cards in there. <clears throat> and just so people don't think that this is, you know, fake or anything, this is all Breakpoint Pokemon cards right here. All Breakpoint. Anything that has value is not in these boxes. So, do not think that I have valuable cards in these boxes. Trust me, I do not. There is nothing valuable in here. It's just literally, just straight up Pokemon cards. Evolution, as you can see, no money value, but that's Evolutions in there. Um, Pokemon Shiny Fates. Uh, as you can see, that is Shiny Fates all in there. Shiny score money for the extra proof. <laughs> That's Shiny Fates. Uh, I bought this Pokemon uh, 25 year edition. I don't even remember what I took out of this. It has something else in it, but I took it out and I, I think, I think it was these three. Yeah, it was these three. Yeah, it was Ted Pig, Snivy, and Oshawott. Three of my most hated starter Pokemon. <laughs> Hate those guys. All right, uh, now we need to turn the lights back on to the original color and get to the rest. Okay, right here, we have uh, the Dragon Ball kind of area over here. Uh, since I am a dad, I will show the Father's Day stuff that I've gotten. My daughter made this for me, and this is a picture of me and her a while back. Uh, this is a very special pop that I've gotten. Uh, one of my homies uh, quit work to go work somewhere else, and he knew I loved this Ultra Instinct Goku. Me and him both watched the Tournament of Power together. Uh, and not together in person, but we watched it together. He gave me the link to watch every single episode that aired in Japan. Boy, was this just... This was a fantastic gift. So, Jeter, if you're watching this, shout out to your homie. Um, I bought these from the homie that I bought the Pokemon Amiibos from. I, that had to be some between 40 and 50 bucks that I bought from him because he had those. This is Resurrection Elf Blues. And then this Goku I got from Target. Um, it was with uh, a Bardock. They was basically doing like some kind of uh, joint kind of beam. I can't remember what it is. And I can't find it on Target because they don't sell it anymore. Discontinued. Um, obviously, you guys know. Namek Saga Goku. Uh, this is Kid Goku on Nimbus. This is the other part of the uh, Last of Us Part 2 collection right up here. 
And of course, just Lance sitting over here chilling with Charizard. Now we get to this area. Uh, this is where my Pokemon card boxes usually stay at. But as you can see, I have um, some manga in here. One Piece, Dragon Ball, Goblin Slayer. There are my two Link Amiibos right over there. These green um, tokens are Animal Crossing um, villagers that I still have not put in the game. Uh, I got this from Target as well. I finally built it all. That's from Target. I got this Dragon Ball Z Wonder Box from GameStop. Uh, that's my OLED Switch box. This <clears throat> is a Dragon Ball Lunch Box. And of course, just like the Pokemon Lunch Box, I guess you guys can already tell what I'm about to pull out of here. Um... This is so hard to do. Just one phone. Dragon Ball cards. Of course. Self-explanatory there. But yeah. Um, I got this from Target as well. And this is a Karama Pop that's in there. Don't know why it's facing that way, but it is. Okay, so from the top, this is my motherboard and fan that's in the PC right now. This is a box that uh, somebody gave me. I know who gave it to me, but this is a box somebody gave me because uh, I was big and doing baseball cards. He just gave me that box. Had a bunch of good stuff in there. Uh, this is all, like all of this, just car protector stuff up here. So that's a box of my iPad, AirPods, AirPods, iPhone 13. No, that's an iPhone 14. So this is 13, 14, and 15 in the middle, which I'm recording on right now. These are my two Apple Watch boxes, the original and I think the three or five. I can't remember which one I have right now. Ruffles LeBron. I don't know why I had this. I just bought it because LeBron was on the cover and it was special edition. I just bought it. Um, LeBron Space Jam Pop. LeBron Lakers Pop. This is a Giannis Antetokounmpo um, figurine from NBA 2K19. This is LeBron James poster right here. This box randomly just has a bunch of Pokemon cards in there. Just very randomly, nothing nothing to really talk about. Now let's zoom back over here. So we have my uh, 4070 Super new GPU that's in the computer right now. This is a random Pokemon Go Ultra Ball Ash Ketchum hat. I can't put that in the price tag because my wife bought me that. My 2070 Super that is in there. I don't see myself being able to like actually sell it because I don't think it'll sell well. So I'm just going to keep it as a keepsake. Uh, Charmander plushie, Obsidian Flames uh, ETB, Charmander Pop, Wii, that's my wife's Wii, um, and then Champion's Path ETB. These are some random Pokemon, not really random, but these are some probably value, valuable Pokemon cards right here. So I just lost one. Um, yeah, here's a few right there. Yeah, these are some of the um, the rarer cars that I think I have in the stack. And <laughs> I do have this Pokemon Oreo Mini only because this Oreo bag was overstuffed and it was Charmander. So I know I was going to keep one. I kept the overstuffed one. When does this expire? It expired last year. <laughs> Ah, it expired last year. Moving on. This is my high ground tube that held the mat in it. So as you can see, Pokemon my high ground that held the mat, the mat that's on my desk. Bunch of random big card Pokemon cards back there. Another Ultra Ball that I did get Pokemon packs out of. And of course, the box that my keyboard came out of. So Pokemon high ground. Here is 15... ETBs, that's 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 ETB boxes over here. This Sword and Shield is still sealed. Still sealed. I bought this just to say that I have a sealed product for in the future. Um, Steam Deck. <clears throat> this was... My Steam Deck uh, LCD case, I sold it and I bought the um, Steam Deck OLED that is coming today. 
Uh, I, I hope that I was going to get it in the video, but it's still in route. It's going to be coming today. And I think that's it for this entire area over here. Now we can move over to the miscellaneous section. Uh, that is the Sur protector that I was telling you guys about. Here is my first microphone that I streamed on, streamed with, the Yeti Blue Mic. A lot of OGs will remember this mic, as well as the Logitech C920 box. I want to say it's probably either up there or I threw it away. But um, that's the first mic I used to stream on. And <clears throat> here's my Stream Deck pedal box. The uh, face cam box you can see right there. Here is a Deku uh, figurine that I haven't built. There's a Gundam one. And I believe that's it on this side. So now we can talk about the PlayStation 5 area. So what I do with this section, by the way, there's a, there's a light lighting up everything in the back. It's quite kind of looks like that. But basically what I do is I flip this entire futon over to this side, the rug also. I flip everything over and I boot my PS5 up. Right now it is currently having the what Final Fantasy Rebirth on there right now that I haven't touched. This came out of a uh, Pokemon 151 pack as well. This came from the launch of Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'll just throw that in there. While we are waiting for the PlayStation to boot up. So, <clears throat> as you can see, fully functional. This is a this is one of the um, Dell monitors that I have bought um, years ago. This is a 4K one, though. This is the only 4K monitor that I have in this room. And, of course, it's hooked up to the PS5, because why not? Speaking of PS5, here are my PlayStation Pops. Aloy, uh, Atreus. Uh, Kratos and then pop for um, Mona from Persona 5. When it was a PlayStation exclusive, it's not anymore, which I'm pretty glad about because, you know, everything on Steam means everything's going to run at top speeds. But here is the entire room. I don't think I've missed anything in this setup. So, guys, let me know down below. Have you enjoyed the tour? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more smooth content. Okay, so this is a bonus for anybody who made it past, you know, everything else in the video. If you made it this far, here is most of the calculations I've done for my stream room. Now, it's a lot, all right? So here is where I started from, right? Got some pause and look over everything. I try my best to write everything down because I don't want people thinking that the thumbnail was a clickbait. It is not. This is how much I spent in this room, on this room, for over a course of since 2019. This is All of this is a collective since 2019. There's an extra $500 that I'm throwing into this, um, into this because I bought so many Pokemon packs that are, uh, that are uncounted for. And I'm just going to just give, this is probably not even how much I spent. Because $500 is probably still too low. But I'm just going to save $500. So, you guys can see that. Here is, like, my Nintendo Switch stuff. Um, the extra, like, little miscellaneous stuff here and there. Um, the Target stuff. The Stream Deck LCD and L OLED that's still I'm waiting for it to get here today. Uh, as you can see, I've got my Yeti mic on there. Like there is still stuff on here that I still I think that's it. But there's still stuff on here that I haven't even like actually add to this calculation because if you saw in the video, uh, the audio, the audio Technica headphones, those are 200 plus headphones that I bought at that time. So all of my prices are prices of everything that I bought at that time of purchase, basically. So even if you want to look up here, because I had to go through and actually pull like all of this up. So like, boom, there goes, you know, the Yeti that I bought right there. Um, I'll just look this up for my light strip that I have that I also have not really put in there. Here is the surge protect that I bought. This is stuff that I was actually just looking up just to like get the prices of everything that I have for this video. So, yeah, if you made it past this far, just say 
that I got to the bonus round down below in the comments. And this is for real the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. This is the most longest video I think I would ever produce on this channel. So let me guys know, let me know how you guys like it. Peace.